Okay. Salamat sa pagbabalik mga kaibigan. Ang ating tatalakay naman sa araw na ito, sa pagkakataong ito ay illustration of uh, theorem or illustration of limit theorems. Yung theorems of limits. So, mag-proceed na nga tayo sa ating first limit natin. Or first theorem of limit. Theorem number one. The limit of K as X approaches C is equal to K. Ibig sabihin lamang yan, K is a constant. Constant numbers. 1, 2, 3 whole numbers. As the, the limit of the constant as X approaches C is itself. So kung ano daw yung constant at tinahanapan ng limit, the limit is constant itself. Example, example natin, the limit of 2 as x approaches 5 is 2. Whatever the, the uh, whatever yung uh, values ng magiging x natin, kung constant naman yung ating function, the limit is the constant also. Halimbawa pa nga natin, the limit of um, 10 as x approaches 1,000 is still 10. Kung ano man yung value na yan, still the answer is the constant. That is theorem number 1. Theorem number 2. Theorem number 2 is... The limit of x as x approaches c is equal to c. So basically, para lang tayo nagsasubstitute dyan. The value of, ay, so, sorry, the limit of function x as x approaches c is equal to c. Para lang tayo nagpalit ng value ng c doon. Pinalitan lang natin. So example na nga natin. The limit of x as x approaches 0 ay 0. Ipapalit lang natin yun, hindi magiging 0. Halimbawa pa nga natin, the limit of x as x approaches 0 0.005 is 0 0.005. So, ganun lang kadali yung theorem number 1 at number 2 natin. Oh my God! Ang theorem number 3 natin ay constant and a function. So, let's say for example, we have a limit of k multiplied by f of x as x approaches c ay equal yan sa k multiplied by the limit of f of x as x approaches c. Kasi ang ating theorem, limit of k f of x as x approaches c. Alam naman natin na li ang limit ng constant ay yung constant din, k. Multiply by the limit of the function as x approaches c. So para maintindihan natin ng mas maigi, example number 1 tayo. Let's say we have... Uh, the limit of 5 multiplied by x plus 1 as x approaches, let's say, 2. That is equal to, yung 5 natin, so, ma-retain yun, yun nga yung ating constant. Then, papalitan lang natin ng 2, yung x na yun. So, that will be 2 plus 1 yun, pinalitan natin substitution so that is 3 that is equal to 15 that is how we solve for or that is how we use the limit theorem number 3 yun lang the number limit, num, limit theorem number 4 
Number 4. Addition Theorem. Number 4 is the addition theorem. Let's say for example, we have a given two functions, g of x and f of x. So the limit of g of x plus f of x as x approaches c is equal to, paghihiwalayin lang natin yun. So limit ng g of x as x approaches c plus the limit of f of x as x approaches c. So addition lang naman yun. Example number 1 nga tayo. Sige. Example 1 sa ating theorem number 4. If g of x is equal to 4. Sorry. Buruin ko na natin di kasya eh. Sa example na tayo sa theorem number 4. Addition theorem. Sabi lang dyan, if the limit of g of x as x approaches c is negative 5 and the limit of f of x as x approaches c is 4 then yung limit ng sum ng dalawa kakaadik talaga yung amoy ah approaches ano amoy is negative 5 plus 4. Kasi ito naman yung dalawa na yun eh. Ito yung limit ng g of x. Ito yung limit ng f of x. Pag pinag-add natin yan, negative 5 plus 4 lang naman yan. So, negative 1. That is the answer. So, yun lang naman. Ganun lang naman. Ia, yeah, simpleng add lang. Kaya naman, simpleng subtraction lang. That is theorem number 4. Theorem number 5 is multiplication. Theorem number 5 is multiplication. The limit of, let's say again, we have two function f of x and g of x. As x approaches c. So, parang uh, yung theorem number 4 lang natin. Pinagkaiba lang, ito ay multiplication. So, paghihiwalayin lang natin yan. The limit of f of x as x approaches c. Multiply by the limit of g of x as x approaches c. So, again, parang yan lang di example number 4. Ay, ay, theorem number 4 natin. So, hindi na akong bibigyan ng example dyan. Multiplication lang naman yan. Then, theorem number 6 tayo. Yung theorem number 6 naman, division lang. Theorem number 6, tuloy-tuloy ko na nga to. Theorem number 6 is division. The limit of f of x divided by the limit of g of x as x approaches c. So, paghihiwalayin lang yan. Yung limit ng f of x daw as x approaches c all over the limit of g of x as x approaches c. So, parang again, theorem number 4 and 5 lang. Ang pinagkaiba, division lang to. Number 7, power theorem. The power theorem. So, meron lang tayong exponent. Pag sinabi kasing power, yun yung exponent. Raised to p as x approaches c. So, simple lang. Kunin mo muna yung limit ng function as x approaches c then raise mo sa exponent so again, kunin mo muna daw yung limit ng function then tsaka mo erase dun sa ating exponent
Uh-huh. Yan. Then, yung rule number 8 natin is radical. Or root theorem. Yung limit ng radical expression nth root I mean thing, nth root of ay sorry as x approaches c ay square root lang ng limit as x approaches c ay hindi na pala kita Sorry. yon, Ang theorem number 8 natin. So, halos magkakamuka lang naman sila. Ang pinagkaiba-iba lang yung operation. Yung number 4 natin, addition. Yung number 5 natin, multiplication. Number 6 is division. Number 7 is power rule. And number 8 is the root theorem. Or the uh, radical theorem. So, kapag meron tayong square root ng function, I kunin mo muna yung limit ng function then apply mo yung uh, root ng ating function. And those are the uh, theorem or the uh, theorem of limits. Yon, maraming salamat sa panonood mga kaibigan. Uh, wag nyo kalimutang ilike ang ating channel Toot! at ganyan din syempre mag subscribe na rin kayo Toot! at wag nyo rin kalimutan na pindutin yung ating bell upang makareceive ng mga notification sa mga susunod nating videos Toot! maraming salamat so ayun na nga mga kaibigan ano? ah uh, ngayon, uh, kung kayo ay meron pang mga karagdagang katanungan or meron kayong gustong uh, malaman pa na medyo naguguluhan kayo sa loob ng uh, klase o saan pa man, uh, maaari kayong mag-send or mag-message ng mga katanungan ninyo sa mga accounts na ito. Sa aking Gmail account is engineerulysis at gmail.com at sa aking Facebook account naman, ito yung aking official account is Yuli Cruz Cruz. So, mag-message lamang kayo dyan ang inyong katanungan at susubukan natin yan ay sagutin upang tayo ay makatulong hindi lamang sa inyo at pati na rin sa iba. Yun lamang, maraming salamat at pagpalain kayo ng Panginoon. Maraming salamat.